in exercise 7.10 I'm told that particle is confined to move on the surface of a circle cone with its axis on the z-axis vertical the region pointing down an alpha angle, an alpha, angle alpha so first of all I'm going to start drawing the three axes so I'm going to have z x and y so I said z x and y and I have, a, I have a cone with this axis on the uh, z axis so I'm gonna have something like this exactly okay and I know that the particle will be moving on the surface so let's just imagine a point here or a point here or a point here okay now, first thing I want to do is to actually, oh, sorry, and of course the alpha angle is going to be equals to alpha, and this value over here is equals to rho. Okay, so first of all, I want to imagine this uh, example here in only two dimensions. So I'm going to take the view from the top. So, for example, I want to draw the top view, I will get a simple very very simple circle with the x and y axis because it's the top view top view top view sorry of uh, this cone and this means that my particle if whatever whatever position it is in so either here or here or here or here and if we call this raw, like it's called, raw is always going to be equal to the x value squared plus the y value squared over square root. Now, one thing is that you can remember that when it's closer to the vertex, actually, the circle will be something like this. Let me actually draw an actual circle. There, okay. And therefore, raw is going to be equal to something like this. So raw is actually going to be a little smaller, but the value of our red raw is always going to be equal to the x squared plus the y squared. Just different x's and y's. Okay. Uh, so let's go back to this. We know that raw is equal to the x squared plus y squared and actually if you go back on for a second last one just time here, here we can know that the x is equal to the raw times let's um, imagine a, an angle here called uh, let me just drop it theta let me call this uh, actually let me do a little even easier Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna this. Or cosine of theta and y will be equal to the raw sine of theta. Okay, now let's go back here. You know, this is true, and in order to find the z value, which will be this value over here, we know that the tangent of the angle alpha would be equal to the y value over the z value, of the x value. Now in our case, the y value is going to be equal to z, oops, to z over the, our rho. So rho is equal to z over tangent to the power of negative 1 of alpha. And that is our solution for this. As you can see, we describe each one of these in different ways and of course we can say that our z value is equals to uh, the, our rho times the tangent of the angle alpha okay and as you can see we described our uh, solution in different terms here we have raw here we have the solution for rho in terms of x and y here we have the solution in terms of z and we have the value of y the value of x and the value of Z. Oh. And that is the final answer.